Welcome to the channel. In this short video, I'm going to test the GeForce RTX 4060 in Blender 4.3 benchmark scenes, as well as in Cinebench 2024, and compare the results to the other tests that I've done. Okay, we'll start off here with the Blender classroom scene. Here you can see the 4060 running on optics, and we'll render the image. This one does not take very long at all. And the 4060 did this in 22 seconds. So I'll go to my spreadsheet and add that to the list and we'll compare these later. So now on to the barbershop scene. This one takes quite a bit longer, so this is sped up uh, 12 times. And this one ran in about a minute and 51 seconds. So we'll add that to the list. And the next scene is the Lone Monk scene. This is by far the longest test. So this part is sped up 24 times. On the right, you can see the GPU's temperature stays at about 65 degrees Celsius, so that's not too bad. Okay, and this one ran in four minutes and seven seconds. So we'll throw that on the list. And finally, move on to the scan land scene. And this one's running at eight times speed. And that was about a minute, minute, nine seconds, somewhere in there. So we'll throw that on the list. And then we'll resort the columns and compare the data. Okay, so we'll start with looking at the classroom results. So I'll just sort our data here. And it looks like the RTX 4060 um, is just a little bit slower than the 3080. And a little bit ahead of both the 2080 Ti and the 7800 XT. We'll go on to Barbershop. So the 4060 is in a somewhat similar position. It's just a little bit faster than the 7800 XT and a little bit slower than the 4060 Ti, which makes sense here although that gap is smaller than I would expect. For Lone Monk, the 4060 is just a little bit slower than the Intel Arc A770, and interestingly, it's slower than the 6800 XT and 7800 XT from AMD in this test scene. Um, I do see on here the 4060 Ti appears to be slower in this test than the 4060, and that doesn't make any sense. So I will have to consider retesting, um, and I probably should retest all of these anyway on the new test bench uh, that I built this, this year, just to make sure that all the data is current and that Blender 4.3 isn't actually faster on optics now. Um, but you can see the results here, and then we'll go on to scan lands. And we'll sort those. 4060 is, um, now this is kind of the normal result I would get. It's a little bit faster than the A770 and the 7800 XT, and just a little slower than the 4060 Ti. So uh, those are the current results. Like I said, I might, I might go back and retest everything on Blender 4.3 and on the new test bench, just to make sure that nothing has changed. Um, but obviously that's gonna take me hours and hours. So it might be a little bit before I get that completely done. Um, but I won't show every test when I do that. I'll just show the data, I think. And then the last thing that we're gonna do here is um, we're gonna look at Cinebench 2024. And I'm gonna start building a data set for that just because it's another way to compare GPUs that uses the cards a little bit differently. 
Um, Intel does not currently work, as far as I know, on Cinebench 24. So if the support for that is available, I will start doing those too. But for now, it'll just be AMD and NVIDIA. So um, we'll watch the test result for the 4060 on Cinebench 24 next and kind of get that data set going. Okay, so here I have Cinebench 2024 open. And I'm just going to run through this really fast. This is actually at 60 times speed. Um, this one runs for 10 full minutes to get its result, so it takes a while to sit and watch it. So the 4060 scored 10,197 points on this run. So I'll add that score here. 10,197 points for the RTX 4060. I'm going to start testing this with all of my other uh, Blender tests, and then I'll go back and redo all of the ones that I currently have and fill in the rest of these. It's just another way to test the GPUs to make sure that the data makes sense, and it's a good way to compare CUDA versus HIP instead of the more advanced optics renderer that Blender has. Watch for these to be filled in more. I will probably just make some videos kind of like my Blender ones to fill in the gaps and retest some of my old stuff. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching and let me know if you got any questions.